And here we go. And very well, guys. Welcome to the special video on Thea the Crimson Eclipse. This is a game, for those who don't know, it's a game made with RPG Maker 2003. And today, as you can see up here, somewhere, today's the day that marks the fourth anniversary of this game's release. And so I wanted to make something special, since there is an upcoming English release. This game is made by Italian developers. And they are trying to translate it in English, and then translation is undergo, but... Still, we haven't heard of any translations yet. But since there is some work done, I saw I contacted the developer and asked if I could have early access to an English translation. So what we have here is an a partial English translation of the game. We're gonna play through the first two chapters just to show you how great the game is and what is could the final product be when it will finally be translated in English. So yeah, uh, this game is just so great. I already done a full blind play on it in Italian on my channel. If you can try to find it if you want. And it's, even if you think, you think, hey, it's an RPG Maker game, how good can it be? Well, trust me, it's Square Enix level of good. This is not your usual RPG Maker game. No, 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 no. This is a whole nother level. So yeah, uh, welcome to <laughs> this premiere, because this is going out on premiere apparently, and well, uh, probably the dev is going to be in the chat if you want to talk with him, do something, he's probably going to be there. I don't know which username he goes under, but he's going to be there somewhere. Anyway, we're on the menu, we should probably start a new game. I do have a, a game, I think, already started. Yeah, I already started a slot here. I have a saved game, because I was trying it before just to make sure everything was working correctly. But, okay. Let's dive into it. So you guys can see how this game plays out, because there have been some um, screenshots of the English translation, but apart from that, nothing really else. So, at the beginning of the game, this t asks if you want to play an easy, normal, or hard. I'm gonna go with easy, since it's ju this is just for a show. We're not gonna play seriously. Well, we are gonna play seriously, but this is not a complete series. If I wanted to do a complete series, which I will do in the future, we're gonna play normal. But this is not. This is just a special video, so we're gonna play easy. There are some differences between the difficulties, but they're trivial to our purpose today. So we're gonna go to with easy, and this is how it starts. I really need to lower my volume on the headphones, it's way, way too loud. Okay, that's a little better. Look everywhere! Don't let him escape again! Yes, sir! There he is! He went that way! Come on, let's get him! They never give up, huh? I'm sorry guys, it won't be so easy. Hit the directional keys to move, press the Z key to interact with the environment. We don't really using directional keys, we're using this thing, but it's compatible with this with the RPG Maker game, so I guess it works anyway. Well, technically it doesn't, because I'm using the plus to move around. And that is not allowed by RPG Maker, but I found a workaround anyway. Anyway. So we can move our character over here, we can check stuff, although we're not yet allowed to do anything else than what we're supposed to do. So yeah. Let's just go this way, we, are, we have to run away from those guys, which are apparently chasing us. These scaffoldings are in a bad shape. That'll come in handy against those vanguards. All we gotta do is just go here and chuck this uh, thing. Don't really know what to call it. Stop right there! Come and get me! Ah! Come on the Sheridan, sir! I'm not sir to you. I'm the Set. If Set is the leading party member, press the Shift key to wear or remove his hood. We have the top key, which is the Y key in this case, but yeah, Shift works as well. As you can see here, with a kind of cool animation, we can remove or put our hood on. Now, you may think this is just a, um, how do you say that, a graphic, you know, it's not, it's just 
It's not for it's just for show, but actually it's not for show. This is reflected in cutscenes, not in battle, but in cutscenes reflected. And there has a it has a huge but later on in the game. Unfortunately we will not be able to see that. We're only able to play for chapter two. And the function of the hood only r reveals until chapter six? I'm not entirely sure which chapter, but it's like halfway through the game, you can start using it for real. It has a function, but yeah. I just I don't want to spoil it too much. Anyway, a dead end. You got nowhere to run now, or maybe I do. Each character possesses one or more passive skills, granting a variety of in-combat and out-of-combat benefits. Set passive skills propulsion, which allows him to reach distance places by jumping. Hit the Z key when you see the jump icon to jump. Easy as that. As you can see, this icon over here. We just press the confirm button, and there you go. Hey, well, what are you waiting for? Damn it, how on I think it's on the hearth does he do that? Again, this is an early alpha, so you can expect some um, mistakes here and there, but it should work fine. We lost him, sir. The boy's good. He definitely hasn't lost his stats in the past two years. He ran away, Commander Yolne. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll get him, rest assured. Commander, why is Sheridan so important to the vassal? We're not just after him because he stole some attacks technology, if that's what you're asking. Lord Maester needs to speak with him, personally. That's all I need to know. They say this is about the crisis, but I don't get what Seth's role is. The crisis. Chapter 0. Area Tales Crisis. Do you want to read the story of World of Aria Tale? Oh, uh, I would choose no, because, you know, I already know, but, you know, just to showcase it, let's go with yes. Aria Tale, year 2045. No renewable energy sources such as oil, coal, and gas have almost been totally depleted. This issue has brought the greatest research and development firms of the world to look for a new energy source, a viable alternative to fossil fuels. Year 2061, one of the most important companies of Ariafail, called Reason Health, discovers the properties of a peculiar mineral. This new discovery is welcomed as the solution to the energetic crisis. The newly discovered energy source is called Atlas. Thanks to the Reason Elf Corporation, people all over Ariathil live in a new atmosphere of hope and prosperity. There is energy for everyone. All of the technological devices from the past are adapted to work with this new energy source. A new year of wealth and progress begins. Year 2210, 150 years after the, the uh, yeah, basically they have been, they have been using Atlas too much. One of the, of the energy sources were glossy overestimated, now Atlas 2 is on the brink of exhaustion. Mankind is back to the catastrophic situation of the 21st century. This time, new efforts on the energetic field seem fruitless. So basically they run out of Atlas. Tower City of Aldros, year 2215, the leaders of the most powerful countries of all Ariathil reunite in council to find a solution to the fearsome crisis. The ruler of Aldros, the Tower City, Lord Zenathur Merdan, opts for a drastic solution to ban all modern technology from everyday life. This radical measure is finally accepted by the council and is made official through the signing of the historically Treaty of Aldros. The treaty forbids the usage of all technological devices, except for those that are powered by renewable energy sources. The treaty is meant to be a temporary measure, while scientists look for something to substitute Atlas. The treaty will be lifted once the new energy source is discovered. To face the sudden lack of means of communication, the members of the council decide to adopt an old system of government, one that would work 
in a world without advanced technology, a feudal system. It is at this very moment that the great countries of Ariatale revert back into empires. Heads of state everywhere become emperors and entrust part of the land to local administrators, the so-called vassals of the empire. Year 2229, born of the best intentions, the treaty brings forth Ariatale's darkest moment in his long history. The ban on technology causes life quality to drop dramatically. The global economy collapses, and all the pillars of society crumble, one after the other. The smuggling of illegal technology becomes commonplace. Even some corrupted empires start using the few remaining sources of Atlas. More ashes. Many empires start destroying each other, dragging their citizens in despair. By the end of the war, only four empires remain. The rest of the world lies in ruin. The Levizon Empire divided into thieves of Rael and Mystia. The Raycan Theocracy located north of Rael. The Caradlithian Empire, union of two thieves, Tamalian and Agarford. And lastly, Merzen. The only empire that was walled territory consists of a single huge capital, Haldoros, the Tower City. Year 2310, today. 95 years have passed since the treaty. The numbers of the world population have dramatically dwindled, and many of the inhabitants of great cities went back to the countryside or to small villages, where they used obsolete technology to get on with their lives. The morale is at an historical low, and this dark period seems to know no end. No one saw me, good. I'd better check if I still have my stuff on me. Press the X key to open the menu and manage the character, skills, equipment, and much more. Okay, we can have to open the menu, there he is. You can read the menu tutorial in the guide. Move the cursor with up and down keys, confirm with Z. Okay, so here we got the menu. It, it reminds me a lot of the menu of Xenoblade, I don't know why, but I guess it does. I think maybe because there are, there's the tutorial option, there is the party option, and then there's other stuff. It's all sorted well, very well. Anyway, if we want to check if we still have our belongings, we can go to manage party. And we can go, we can do a lot of things here. We can check our items, we can check our skills and use them if, if we could, if we can. We can check our weapons, our gear, upgrade some of our skills, and check the status of a character. We can check set status, for example. There he is. Level 3, blah blah blah, there's a lot of statistics. And some of these things will... They will be explained in a while. As for now, there's gonna go back here to this menu. And yeah, we can go on items to what we have here. We have an alien quartz, a soul quartz, an alba remedy. And then we have four of these. These things will be explained later. These are domain abilities. And they will be explained later on. And there's a whole lot of stuff you can read here in the option guys. The tutorials are immediately available to you, so you can actually spoil yourself with some of the later mechanics of the game. But we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna let the game tell us, and if we have some time at the end of this video, we'll actually check those. Anyway. We can go this way, but it will stop us. Uh-oh, it's an Italian. Okay, he's basically saying I can't go that way, I gotta find another way around these guys. Oh, this is good. This is uh, in English. That's not a good idea. I have to find another way. Okay, good. So all you have to do is we have to go this way. You'll find chests all over the world of Ariatel. Get close to a chest and need the Z key to open it. Green chests can be opened uh, uh, by anyone, whereas red chests are locked. Only a professional safe cracker can open them. That's like another passive ability that a character has. And they allows that character, if it's in the party, to open chests that are locked. So we got there in the test our Z- Whoa, okay. That's a save point, open the menu to save your progress in the game. What we got in the test, I really skipped it very quickly because I'm used to it, sorry about that. Uh, it's Zenit. Zenit are our currency, it's down there, Z ZN. That's basically the money of the game. That is a save point, you can only save on, on save points. And when, you're on, when you are on the world map, so we're gonna save your game over here. And if you remember, you can still jump, thanks to Seth's ability, so we're gonna jump over here. 
and we gotta get this thing, which is a Ga Gaia shard. There's 99 of those things in the game, and they can give you some rewards if you pick them up. Uh, note about the jump command, you need to face the right direction for it to work. So for example, this works on this side, okay. So, if a jump command doesn't work, look for example, if I come from here, it says jump, but I hit the button, it doesn't work, I'm facing the wrong direction, you need to face the right direction. What, what is the right direction? Well, it depends on the jump place that you're jumping from. So you can't jump this way, you need to jump over to the boxes. There you go, see? And then, down here, good. Anyway, let's go over here and... Hey, what do you think? You're going! Busted. And here we have our first battle. With the music from Barely Default, if I remember correctly. Do you want to see the battle tutorial? Yes, I do. The lower part of the combat screen shows character stats. Health point HPs, stamina points SPs, and the active time battle ATB. When the ATB bar is full, the character can take a third. The available options during the turn are attack, hit the enemy with the equipped weapon, skill, use character skills, consuming SPs, guard, reducing coming damages, restores a small amount of HP. Items, use support of healing items on the characters, escape, try to flee from a battle. Row does not exist, it is not in this version of the game, it is a function that was removed, it was present on earlier versions. So I'm not even gonna read that. Once you defeat your enemies, you'll obtain XP, experience points to level up your characters, AP, ability points to learn character skills and domain skills. ZN then is the game currency used to buy items and equipment. You can read the battle tutorial in the guide menu. Alright, so this is a pretty much like Final Fantasy, old Final Fantasy style of gameplay. You have your ATB, and when your ATB is full, the character get, starts blinking and the end shows, you press the confirm button, you get to choose a command. Time completely stops when you when a character gets a turn, so you can stay at, at this state for all time you want. It's not nothing's gonna happen. So we can choose. Of course, we can't escape. Um, so we're gonna attack this guy a couple times. There you go. One and two. Wow, he didn't even get to do anything. So we win. We get experience, AP, and Zenith. And I like, I love the voice acting at the end of the battle and during battle. Yes, there is voice acting in this game, believe it or not. And it's just great. I believe it comes from a Soul Calibur game. I don't know which Soul Calibur game the voice acting comes from. It, not all the voice acting comes from that game. There is another one as well, but... It's all in the credits though. When you finish this game, there, when the credits roll, you can see where all the music came from, where all the voice acting came from, you can see where all the graphics came from, because some of those are not original. You may have seen something in the intro before, there were some Chrono Trigger graphics, pretty famous Chrono Trigger graphic. Anyway, let's move over here. Stop right there, Seth. Valiant. So you're the one Maester sent on the hunt. Well, not many high vanguards can catch up with the likes of you. Not since you left. Come on, stop running and follow me to the castle. You're alone and surrounded by my men on all sides. Nowhere to escape. Come on, Seth. There's no need for us to take you there the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> You're a high vanguard, Valiant. You should be used to the hard way. Do you want to see the exit tutorial? Yes, I do. The vertical bar is called the Exceed Bar. When it's full, the character can, can perform a special skill. It's Exceed. The bar is depleted after each fight. Each character has a different way to fill the Exceed Bar, depending on its X-Tards. The details about the X-Tards can be found in the Status tab under the Manage Party menu. You can read the Exceed tutorial in the Guide menu. The Exceed is basically that bar near our character portrait down there on the bottom left. And in that case, it charges up a little bit every time I hit the attack button. Now it's already off field, so it's gonna take it's gonna be a little faster this time around. This is just the tutorial though. As you can see, it goes up little by little every time I hit the attack command. And he's using lightning level too. Well, it's only 51 damage. Anyway, if I want to show that if you guard, you can get back some HP. Although if you do it again, you won't do you won't get back HP. You need to at least perform another action before guarding again. I missed that, and well, they're doing some damage there. Okay, there's one more attack before I, our exit is is fully charged. So let's do it. And there we go. Now that signals the exit is charged up. We go on the skills. Propulsion is also here. 
This is our jumping ability, but now we have Crimson Bolt. It costs zero, that's our exceed. Deals strength and spirit-based damage. So let's select it and let's see it. And that ensures our victory. But not, not enough, enough to beat me. Set. Uh, is a tough one. I think I'm far enough from rail now. I'd better find a place to rest. This looks as good a place as any. D damn. It's cold out here. I... I can't go on like this. What the... You... Again? What? My wounds? They're gone! <sighs> yep, we definitely started the game. And chapter 1 begins the runaway. And with the music from Xenoblade, Go or Play is Night, you <laughs> you can already tell this is gonna be a good chapter. It stopped raining. Uh, my back hurts. I'll cross sleeping on a rock off the list of things to try. Hmm? There's someone here. More vanguards? Wait for me! Hurry up, we're late for our report. The commander's going to cut off our legs if we don't go back to rail now. Ugh. Uh. I, I'm too tired. We're late anyways, guys. Let's rest for a minute or two. Uh, Alright, let's stop here for a while. Yolna is going to eat us alive. Goodbye next week's leave. Jane is going to kill me. Ah, uh, my poor legs. I'm not a young man anymore. Dude, you're 24! Hey, we've been hunting stuff since dawn. Of all the places you had to hide, why hills? Why not a nice valley? It is not noon yet, I'm already ex exhausted already. Stop complaining. Besides, there's something I don't quite get. Why is Lord Master employing all of these forces to capture Sheridan? Sheridan stole a set of Imperial Armor and the Ordnance Atlas. That's quite the charge, isn't it? On top of him being a deserter and an ex eye vanguard such as he used to be. Said Sheridan was a big deal. Well, people steal Atlas every day, but it's rare for thieves to be sold for like this. It's a real manhunt. Well, just between us, there's more. I had a chance to speak with Lord Maester in person a few days ago. He needs to tell Seth of some research on energy sources. Or something like that. He believes Seth is knee deep into the stuff. Well, don't make those faces. I can't remember all of that exactly. Well, Lord Maester wants to speak with Seth about the crisis. This much I know. Besides, the orders are orders, and we need to respect them. Ah, all this work just to get Mist Maester to talk with some guy? That's not reasonable. All this chatter make me nervous. Come on, you slackers. We've been idling long enough. But you were the one to... Unbelievable. Maester wants to see me? That's weird. Better to stay away from Rail from the time being. I'll head to Raleigh. I think that village hasn't been abandoned yet, so maybe I'll be able to get some provisions there. Alright, let's hit a save game here. Just in case something horrible happens, which hopefully will not. 
The color of the arrows at the margin of the screen are movement indicators. There are three types of movement indicators. Normal, blue, takes you to a different area. Shop, green, enters to a shop, and block, thread, unaccessible area. Such as this one, that means we can go this way. Heading this way is not a good idea, better find our own path. Okay. Find Seth. By the way, that music that was playing there with with the Vongars, if you don't know, that's from Grandia 2. Whoops. But no, wrong button, sorry about that. <laughs> wrong button. That was from Grandia 2, it was the scene when they eat together. It looks like I know pretty much every song in the game, but trust me, that's not really it. Well, jump over here, jump over here, get this treasure chest, which contains a healing quartz, which is a healing item we can use in battle and outside. That's all we needed, Atlas Fog. This fog is made of unrefined Atlas in, ge in Gazer's form. It's famous for its effect on wild beasts. Many of them are attracted by the fog and are very territorial about it. Better avoid it if you don't want to fight. Atlas Fog Clouds attract every type of enemy. If you touch the fog, a battle will start. Yeah, in this game there's no random encounters. All the encounters can be seen on screen and are these uh, flame, these green flames going around the field. If you get too close to them, they will get aggressive and it will start chasing you. So if you want to avoid fighting, you just don't touch them. Although they are very aggressive, as you can see. It's very hard to avoid them, but it can't be done. So yeah, we're just gonna attack these frogs. And these frogs can defend and use that attack called Whip Tongue. Ah, I should have attacked the other one. Oh well, killed it anyway. Well, in the beginning of the game, it's very important you guard a little bit. Because you don't have a lot of healing methods. So yeah, we'll have to guard a few times. Just to keep our HP up. And we got a noble remedy, okay, that can That can take away some status effects. Okay, over here. I think we have to yeah, we have to jump on top of this. We can get a chest with the fallen shard, that's material. There is crafting in this game. And you can basically do okay, and go. There are three types of fog, normal, medium, and large. Normal, a standard fight. These enemies are not too strong, and it's a good idea to fight them to obtain experience and useful items. Medium, a challenging fight. These enemies are stronger than the average monsters. Be careful what you're getting into. And large, a hard fight. Only approach a large fog cloud if you believe you can take on a really hard fight. The enemies with a large fog cloud often drop rare items. You might not be able to attain those items in any other way. Unlike small and medium fog clouds, large clouds do not reappear once beaten. They work as mini bosses, they are that's one of them. We will not face them right now. I'm gonna save the game anyway. We are going to face it this video, don't worry about that, but it's just not gonna happen now, it's gonna happen a little bit later. As I was saying before, what I was saying before I entirely forgot. I entirely forgot. Oh yeah, materials. There is crafting in this game, and it's mainly used to power up weapons and create some certain items. So yeah, even if you think an item is not going to do anything, it can be used as a material maybe later on, who knows? You gotta be careful. You might need that material for a later purpose. Okay, attack. And I'm going to defend again. Get back some HP. Unfortunately, this is the beginning. It's a little bit slow. But it gets better. Trust me. You should be more careful next time. Man, I was careful, so what are you talking about? You can't be more careful than that. Just attacking and defending, attacking and defending. Alright. This enemy can actually deal us a status problem. There he is, and he missed. Okay, good. I was about to explain the first status problem that we ever found in this game, but apparently the enemy sucked so much he wasn't even able to do that. Okay, uh... Okay, we can hear an howl when we step through this area. We can't go that way. Let's go over here and... What? Nani? <laughs> oh no, damn it! He's dead. Ugh, ugh! Hey, what happened here? Sir! You're... Sheridan? That's me. Here, take this quartz, it'll heal you. N no, save it for yourself, sir. You wouldn't do me no good. Got the nonsense. Be careful. It's a bloodthirsty beast! A, a wolf! What? A wolf. 
It was an honor to meet you, sir. Damn. Ah, oh, my head. Crap. I need to stay calm. A wolf. Could a Vards and Bandit have done this? I'll go to Raleigh and alert the vanguards. They have to know about this, even if it means getting caught. No one deserves to die like this. Better be careful now. Yeah, indeed, better be careful. But, but we have nothing to do but to move forward. There's a save point. I'm not gonna save this time. We're just gonna oh, we're just going to battle this fog here. Which has a frog and a mushroom. Okay, you do that. You do slam. Ouch. Uh, better off defending a little bit. And if we get a turn, I might be able to kill that. Thank you. Okay, using slam again. Alright, that's 16 damage. I recovered 37 per defense. Okay, that's nice. One more attack and that thing goes down. Let's get back some more HP, though. Okay. Since I was defending, I took a lot less damage. I think you take... I think off damage when you're defending. Alright. Just moving on. There's nothing down there. All we need to do is to proceed this way. Are you alright, boy? I think so. Wait a second. You're a Varden. Is this music from the last story? I I played that game. It kind of looks like. It kind of uh, sounds like the last story. I don't know. It could probably. I know for sure there is a, a music from the last story in this game. Just as I thought. You Varden are behind all of this. You'll pay for it. What? How's Vardens? You're wrong, boy. Yeah, he's defending. He's not even attacking us. But oh well. Can he defend as well? Where's your pack? Did you kill the vanguards on your own? I killed those vanguards? And it's all just said death. I don't know why they changed it. It looks so weird when you... It would, it would just say death? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh well. Why save me though? Or you just meant to save my gear? Enough with your insults. I'm not a thief nor a murderer. Hey, are you alright, boy? My head. How. Holding? It wasn't you? That's what I'm trying to telling you. That beast tried to kill the both of us just a few moments ago. Well, I don't blame you for thinking a Vardzan bandit might have done it. But that's no Vardzan, let me tell you. I know this, you can use that sword. <laughs> Get ready, this fight won't be easy. You want to see the guard tutorial? Well, we really know what guard does, but let's see it anyway. A relentless attack isn't always the best option. Don't underestimate the guard action. When a target defend, they will recover a small amount of HP and reduce all upcoming damage for the turn. When you use the guard action, the domain bot will be reduced and you will recover HP. We have no idea what the domain is quite yet. We'll be introduced to that later. As long as you keep using the guard action, the enemies will inflict less damage. But you won't receive extra HP after the first turn and the domain bar won't be reduced. Use another action and then guard again to recover more HP. Some characters have passive skills interacting with the guard action. As our new character here, Rudra. Remember that some characters have the guard action as a trigger for their next charge. Always check the status of a new ally. Yes, indeed. Rudra here, a new character. Oh yeah, by the way, when two, car two more characters fill up their ATB at the same time, you can actually choose which one to act, act first. The Rudra over here is a new character. Uh, we're gonna attack with Seth first, and we do zero damage. Rudra... Serves to succeed by attacking and by guarding, which is great. He also has a passive ability. I don't know if we're going to see that out that hard. No, no, no. Defend. Thank you. Rudra can defend. Okay. And he charges to succeed by defending, which is awesome because you can just have him attack, defend, attack, defend, and we'll keep charging. Lacerating bite. Uh oh. Okay. That doesn't work. That potentially can inflict poison. Actually, it's called bleed here, it's not poison. 
trying it harder, boy. It's not even bleeding yet. It's not like you're doing any better with that axe of yours. Yeah, but if we can get an exceed, we'll be able to do some damage. Okay, attack again. Okay, now both guard. Brula scratch. Ow. That did a lot. Let's get back some HP. Man, I'm so unlucky. Rudra there has an ability that does something when you guard sometimes, but it's not happening. It's very weird. I'm just being plain unlucky here. Damn, this guy just wants to kill Seth badly. Let's see if it works now. And there he is. See that thing that appeared there? It's a status buff. Those red crystals. Where have you seen them before? Rudra has a chance to inflict himself with that thing, which is basically double defense. Every time he defends, he has a chance of getting double defense for a set amount of turns, which is awesome. But yeah, and now set is guard under poison. That thing over there, that's poison. It's called bleed actually. But basically that means that every turn you lose 2% of your HP. Which is bad. It, it's one of the worst status problems unfortunately. And I think I have guarded, so I'm just going to attack here. Rudras has the exceed ready. Now he has a few skills. He's got an inner piece that grants the meditate buff. But it doesn't allow him to charge exceed. Furor, actually I'm gonna do that because it ups strength. Domain and he loses his speed by time, but that's not a problem. Seth is not in good shape. Defense Seth. And Rudra can actually show us fear across. It's succeed. That's not normal beast. We must leave now. Leave hell. What? We don't even get to see that. Okay, well, later on then we'll see Rudra succeed then. Jump. W what? It's either that or those fangs, boy. Come on now. Hey, are you alright? Uh, ah, uh, I think so. It's better here than up there. Your heart. Let me carry you to the closest village. You need a doctor. That's not necessary. I just need to rest for a bit. This just prays a stubborn one, come on. You're bleeding and that beast is still around. It's, it, it'll smell your blood and I'll be back within the hour. Are you still sure you don't need help? I guess you win this one, Grey Mane. Hey, Varzen. Thanks. Call me Rudra. When characters join the party as guests, you can change their equipment, offensive atlas, and protections as you wish. You can use items on them and you can use their skills. You can all learn new skills and you won't be able to change or upgrade their weapons. When a character is no longer a guest, they enter the party for good. That unlocks the full range of customization options. Yeah, everything will work like that, basically. Every character that you will find, they will join you in battle. But first joining as guest, then we'll be only able to manage him partially. And then, if they reveal themselves to be um, definitive, definitive characters, they will enter for good and they'll be basically as upgradable as Set is right now. Anyway, our next destination, this is the world map. You don't really travel on the world map, you just move this little pointer here and just point at the point where you want to go. There is another house over here. This is Ox's house. Uh, I don't want to enter that right now. We'll go there later. There's nothing for us there. I mean, there is, but we can't really do anything with it. You can save anywhere you want here. As you can see, the save game there option down there in the bottom of the screen. Anyway, let's go to Raleigh. It's our destination. And here we are. This little village here. We can enter this house, if I remember correctly. And there's a concentration tome here, and there is a ration room somewhere around here. Yeah, food ration. And there is Ariatelian's e-book. E -book. I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna read this, but... Some tests have a blue light on them. Those tests contain e-books. These are all documents you can read to better understand the world of Ariatel and the development of Thea. 
You can access your ebooks through the info section of the game menu. Basically, there's a lot of trivia, a lot of backstory. You can read them if you want. Now I'm gonna do that. Hello, would you please? Would you mind getting off my property, please? I'll get off your property right now. There you go. See that? How fast I am? Am I good at following orders, old man? Oh, Holy Rian, bless Royal. You're one of the few places where an old woman like me can live in peace. Indeed, there is a shop over here, and there's another chest. I might as well grab it. Soul quartz. That replenishes SP. Aha, uh -huh, there's a follow nucleus here. Knew it. You got guns here? Is that another, that's another Barton. So you're buying or not? I am buying. So you can buy armor for your characters here. There's min. There is material. There are materials. I mean. Hmm. I think I'm gonna buy two of these. Yeah. I'll buy two of these, thank you. And I'll gladly equip it so the we you can see how to equip characters. You can go to managed party, you can go under gear, set, go under protection here, padded jacket, then we go over Rudra. And we go padded jacket. Let's go and see Rudra statistics actually. I wanna see There. there. I want I wanted to see that portrait, because that portrait is the first time I see him. In the Italian build, these, these porches here are not there. These are new. So yeah. I just wanted to take a look at it. I think that's it. We're just going to sell the previous armor, I guess. Um, the leather jacket of Rudra. And unfortunately, the Kraken Van armor we can't sell, because that's neither later in the game. Um, and they have two healing cards. I believe there is a shop that sells them. And we'll need a few. Do you sell them? Not gonna help you. You do sell them. We oh, got Taurus. Hmm. It costs a lot though. This is an Atlas shard. That I'm gonna tell you what that is in a second. Do I think I'm gonna go for no? I don't wanna buy six. Hmm. Let's see. Might as well buy four. Four for something upcoming. Might as well. Just to be on the safe side. Alright. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, I'm not gonna talk with everyone in the village. I mean, I'm going to do that in my series, but... This is not... A, a full let's play. We're just gonna go around and look at this place. Or a center. No, we can't enter this house, of course. If there's not an arrow, you cannot enter any house. I don't think there's anything hidden here. Then again, I might be wrong. There is a way to tell where there's stuff hidden, but right now you can't you don't have that ability, so. What you can do is we can talk to this dog and we can get a new mission that pops up. Uh, we can see the missions under here, under missions. Rolly's curious dog appears to be hiding something. Chase it and find this treasure. That's the first mission we can ever find in the game. And let's see where he went. Uh, I think... Let's see. Let's see if I can find him. I believe he went near the entrance. Over here? There he is. And it disappeared on the tree. How did that dog? How that dog does it? Uh, it's a mystery. Let's see where he went. Um, not this way. Is he already gone to the last place that he can go to? Yes, he's here. All right. And he coughs up a Gaia fragment. Gaia shard, sorry. Okay, I think here. Nope. I think all we can do is... Actually, we haven't checked that out. I believe there's something important there. Nope. That's upstairs, then. A leather jacket, but more importantly... I'm gonna steal this rush. Not that's going to be needed, anyway. I don't well. Alright, let's go to the inn. Ah, uh, Rudra. Oh, Holy Rian, what happened? Don't worry, madam. He's been hard by a feral beast, but it will be okay. Do you have any free rooms? I can pay tomorrow morning if that's okay. Sure, no problem. Get him upstairs. I'll call a doctor. Your friend doesn't look good. 
Indeed it doesn't. Ah, uh, my head. It feels like it's going to explode. Uh. Come on, where are you? Show yourself. I... I don't understand. What are you? Why are you following me? What do you want of me? Why do I keep dreaming this? Seth. Miss. The, uh, uh, I... I don't understand. Huh? What happened? You finally woke up. Yeah, but my head's on fire. The inner keeper called in the doctor. He gave you some sort of alchemic concoction. Your wounds will be disappeared by tomorrow morning. How long did I sleep for? Four hours, give or take. It's two in the morning. Four hours. You were the whole you were here the whole time? Wow, I'm speechless. Thank you, Rudra. No one expects to be helped by a artisan these days. Appearance can be deceiving. Well, admittedly, most of artisans are not the peaceful sort, but I know all of us are aggressive with outsiders. I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Seth. Nice to meet you, Seth. Is something wrong? Don't worry. I was just thinking about what happened earlier. Well, about that, when you attacked me, you said something about dead vanguards. Would you mind to explain? Three vanguards have been killed by that beast. I vowed to avenge them. So you have vanguard as well. I used to be one of the rails eye vanguards. I left the army two years ago. And why is that? If you don't mind talking about it, of course. I... Valiant. I finally found you, Seth. Hey, easy now. The boy is still recovering. The boy is wanted by the vessel. What? How did you find us? You're predictable, Seth. This is Raleigh and all their villagers so close to rail. Of course, you are going to stop here. Anyways, I'm not here to arrest you. Wait, you're not taking me back? Leave us alone, boys. I have to I need to have a word with Sheridan. Why did you come all the way here if you're not to arrest me? I recently discussed your situation with Lord Maester. Now that our vassal has decided that they will extend your pardon for your desertions and your theft. Only once in exchange for that is for you to talk with them. I believe the Empire requires a last service of you. I still don't get it. What does Maester want of me? The vassal told me that our investigation on the incident that struck your team two years ago have resulted in a new trail. This, on the other hand, is closely linked with the research on alternative re energy sources that's been carried out on in Mistia. Huh. We believe that the red crystals we've been seeing the past few years might have been might be a new energy source, one comparable to the Atlas. An incident in the red crystals. In any case, you don't have much of a choice. Either you collaborate with us, or you end up in jail. You're still going back to rail, like it or not. Well, you got me. Alright, Valiant. Good to hear you talking like that. We'll leave it on. Gentlemen, I have a request. I'd like to accompany you to rail. What for, Varzan? We don't need your help. If I were you, I wouldn't be so confident. Ruder's right, Valiant. I'm here because we've been attacked by a huge beast just yesterday. Stepping alone killed all the men in the Vanguard search party that was chasing me. The road between Rolly and Rail might be short, but it's not a safe one anymore. As far as we know, the wolf could have started walking on the main path. That's definitely a danger to everyone. Damn it, three of my men. We need to inform the vassal about this creature. Well, Master will be informed of that beast's demise then. I'm going to cut it down personally. Let Rudra come with us. He saved me once already, and he knows the vines better than any of us. Permission granted. In that case, we'll take a detour through rail sales to end this. Alright, woke up and ready to go. 
we are fully restored, aren't we? Yes, we are. Good. Nice, nice, nice. I think... Yeah, it's an healing pearl. <laughs> you never know. Might come in handy. Anyway, let's leave here. I believe we have to talk with Valiant to progress the story. Yeah, the Vanguards are in town now. They'll be going around randomly, and Valiant's here. So you're alright now, Set. Come on, let's go. Lord Maester waited long enough already. Alright, let's do this. Back here, I'd like to go all the way down to this house we haven't explored before. This is Oxon. Definitely want to check this. Over here, we can find Ock. Hmm? Foreign Gears? What are you doing in my home? I'm sorry, we got lost. We'll leave right away. Wait, you look like adventurers, am I right? Adventurers? Well, in a way. Name is Ock. I used to live in a life like that too back in my days. No one ever met me. I'd like to challenge you. Back when I was tra traveling the world, I found many chests along the way and gathered plenty of treasures. Show me you can do better, and I'll reward you with the best loot you've ever seen. What'd you say? Come on, make an old man's day. Show me Arya tells in good hands, so I can rest easy. Alright, we'll be back. We got a mission to open as many chests as possible in the game. You first go to open 10, and we open 6. That's not good enough. Okay. It gives you stuff if you open a lot of chests, which is pretty interesting. Because if we want 100%, you need to find all treasures possible. Anyway, we're going to Rail Zills. We proceed back to the first... This first... I want to call it Mini Duns, you know, I don't even know. Well, we have to make ourselves our way back. And we're going to fight some random, encou random, random encounters. They're not really random, since you can see them, I guess. But we need to get some experience because now is the time we're gonna try to fight that little mini boss we found before but I'd like to gain a level if I can before fighting him yeah we're gonna get at least one level on set definitely and if we can get one on Rudra it's gonna be even better there it is All right then, let's chase after him. More vanguards and more battles. Even know win. Trying to shut up during battles because I love the voice acting. I just love it. I just want you to hear it as well. Sets level up. Set us level it up. Um, although I'd like to give a level to Rudra as well. If possible. Let's do this. I won't let up. Nice crit set. Not bad. And nice crit too, Rudra. Let this be a lesson to you. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for Rudra to level up though. Uh, but that's going to be very useful. Anyway, if you want to farm for enemies. All you need to do is just enter and re-exit the same area, and they will respawn, so it's pretty easy. Alright. I don't think this guy gives a lot of experience, though. 4-5-4, four, four. I think we're better off fighting the, that guy repeatedly. When you want to farm in this game for experience, you just have to find the enemy that gives you the most experience. And just keep finding that one. And if it's near an area changing point, you can just go in and out of that area. I'm gonna guard here. See if I can get to that guy. To the, to the mini boss with full HP. Hopefully I can do it. Yeah, okay. We're, we're just gonna stay here for a bit, just... Just wait for a little bit. We have to farm some experience here. Just to get that mini boss done. 
And we're in easy. This is easy. So we're gaining a little bit more experience than usual. So yeah. Bear with me a little. It's not gonna take long, trust me. You lost because you didn't focus. Okay. One more battle and we're done. Oh yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, but you may have noticed that the enemies are moving slower on the field. That's Rudra passive ability. He's got two passive abilities. One makes the enemies move slower on the field. So you are more likely to, uh, to dodge them. And the second ability that he has um, is the one that... That one. The one that gives him double defense at random when he defends. Also a pretty good one. Okay, Ruder levels up, and I think with that done, we can try to take on this mini boss. Of course, I'm gonna save first because you never know. All right, let's do this. All right, paralyzing by that. Yeah, that makes him waste a turn basically, which is a problem. So doesn't have any skills yet. You can learn skills by spending APs, but I didn't want to do that. Out, and now I'm poisoned. Okay, I'm going to guard, I guess. Get back some HP. And I lost turn. Nice. Well, Rudra attacks. What I want to do here, basically, is try to get an exceed going. Okay, you recover, you get double defense as well. Okay, you lost your turn. It's up to you, Seth, now. Ouch. Poison still needs 8 turn to go off, damn. I just keep losing turns there. Ah, uh, that's bad. Um, I could remove poison. I mean, I keep calling it poison while it's bleed, I don't know why. Just heal him. All right, come on, guys! Damn, Seth cannot even take a turn. All right, and now Rudra is poisoned. It's bleeding, so it's bleeding. Okay, Seth got off the poison, but Rudra didn't. So let's have Rudra guard. Seth will have to guard as well if he can't even take an action, because apparently. The boss doesn't even allow us to do that. Now Rudra's blocked, wow. This is not going well, definitely. Attack a little bit set, okay. Even if you miss, it's fine. You still charge up your succeed if you do that, even if you miss. Okay, so you guard, both of us are going to guard this turn. Okay. All right, come on, Seth. Charge up your exceed a little. Ouch, okay. We need to heal. Okay, both of us need to heal here. Um, go for a kneeling quartz. Rudra, no, you can attack, actually. You're very close to doing an exceed there. Come on. Seth, go for a kneeling quartz over there. Good. That's why I bought all those healing quarts before. I had my reasons. Come on, Rudra, you're almost there. Okay, guard. Okay, that's nice. Okay, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna have set guard. Rudra will activate Furor. That buffs his strength, and that's what we want. To do more damage if he can get to do the exceed though. That's the problem. See if he can get there. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, set guards. And Rudra fires off the exceed. Let's see if I'll cross.
Yeah, they won. Good job. We get an elemental guard. That's the domain ability. We'll be shortly introduced to those. But for now, let's just grab this guy a shard and move on with our lives. Actually, we need to jump over here. Uh, oops. Actually, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. Also, I'd like to see how many APs I have. Because I might want to learn some abilities. Especially for Sad, since he has none right now. He might benefit for one. He might just have the AP to learn one of it, one ability. Cut. Wow. Come on. There you go. And Ruder levels up. Let's see. All right. To learn abilities, you just go under upgrade here. Uh, Ruder cannot learn anything because he's still a guest, but Seth can. Let's see skills. So he has uh, some skills. I'm not going to go into really deep detail on what they do. First aid restores a small quantity of HP. I definitely want that. And we can learn a domain ability. I might as well want to do it. How much does this cost? I'll take this as well. Bound lightning, which inflicts lightning damage. I can't miss. Mm, we can learn a domain ability. I'm going to do that, so you, you may be able to see what that is all about later in the, in the later, later battle. Uh, learn BR's endurance. I guess I'll do. Yeah, I'll go for. D dang it! Okay, I think I'm gonna go for BR's endurance. Yeah, I'll go for that. Learn it. Set up it to level one. You'll see what it is in a second. We're about to get a tutorial about it. Anyway. There's a new treasure chest here. With three Alba Remedies. And. We also have. Over there. Don't let it get away. A boss fight, of course. The mini boss fight is not really... The big boss fight, oh well. Do you want to see the domain tutorial? Yes, show me the way of the domain. The domain bar is a special bar composed by three levels, as you can see it on the right side of the screen. If you attack the enemies or if you attack the enemies or use skills, the domain bar will charge, but it will be reduced when you guard or use items. The domain bar is also influenced by the enemy threat level. The bar will decrease when the enemies take their actions according to their threat. Be careful, each exhausted card to raises the enemy threat level. A domain skill has to be set on one of the three levels of the domain bar. The higher the level of the bar reaches, the better the bonus, but be careful. You need to reach exactly the level you set, and keeping the domain bar full can be hard. You can learn domain skills as, as common skills once you obtain their relative dominus. Every character has an icon in the bottom left corner of the avatar. This icon shows the overdomain effect. There are five types of overdomain. A character's overdomain effect as is innate and cannot be changed. When the domain bar is depleted at the end of a fight, the overdomain effect of the characters and the party will grant you specific extra rewards. You can read domain tutorial in the guide menu, okay. Basically, the domain is a thing that determines how aggressively how aggressively you're fighting. Doesn't look as strong as the last time. Those crystals look paler now. Why? I don't know, lacerating by that didn't inflict poison, good god. So yeah, as you can see, that bar is slowly filling up. I'd like to fill it up to level 1 since I've set a bonus there. And I'd like to show how that works. Fortunately, Rudra doesn't look good in HP. He might have to defend once, and if we defend, we lose the main. Come on, it's almost there though. Come on. Just need one more attack. There it is. Now I've gained some resistance. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a little bit less damage, in fact, although I'll have Rudra defend now, which is probably gonna drop that. No, I'm still up. I'm still up there. Okay. See, the thing is, I'm going to lose that buff if the bar drops below level one. So that's the thing. You need to keep it high up so you can, uh, you know, use the buff. All right, Rudra will keep attacking. Let's raise our domain a little bit, and we won. Thanks to that Rudra crit, we obtain a Lephus as well.
but not enough to beat me. Let's set level up, levels up. We made it. Looks like we did. Seems like you didn't need my help to take care of this thing. You filthy beast. You've had what you deserve. What? What an animal on area tail. I've never seen anything like that. Something's wrong. What do you mean? That wolf was different just yesterday. That's right. Different fur color and different crystals on its back. These crystals. They look exactly like the ones we found in the thief in the last few years. Misty are studying this stuff too. These are gray though. And the ones being studied are red. The last time we seen the wolf, the crystals were red. Now it's all grayed out, and I think it lost most of his viciousness. Hmm. Just like its strength depended on the crystals. That's likely. The wolf must have absorbed the energy of the crystals. And once the flow of, the, of energy was over, he came back to being a dire wolf and we'd be able to kill it. That means the crystals assume a different hue based on the residual energy they store. I wonder if it all takes to transfer this energy from the crystal to a living being's physical contact. That might be it. Well, this is all we can do for now. This area will be safer without that monster around. We need to go back to Rayel and warn Lord Master immediately. Alright. <coughs> Let's do that then. Alright, we can now go to Rail. This is just the area where we started the game. Let's go there. Here we are, get to the castle as soon as possible. You remember the way, right? Of course. It's right out of town, west side. Alright, don't play any tricks, my men will be watching. Don't worry, I'll keep my word. Perhaps this time you will. Alright, we have some exploring to do, however, before we even go there. There's this house, there's some loot into it. Uh, we can get the food ration. We can jump on top of the boxes. And get our Gaia shard. Also, this is our first locked chest. We can't open it, and we will not be able to open it in this video, so sorry about that. But the character with that ability comes later on in the game. We're not even allowed to reach that point yet. As the dev said that this version is only stable on up to a certain point, up to chapter 2. So don't shard, that's the material. Then we can get another chest up there. Arty scale, more materials for us. Let's see what else we can find. This is our save point of the beginning of the game. Might be more stuff this way. We can enter this out. This is an inn. I think there's anything worthwhile checking here though. Might as well leave. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I guess we'll just go back one back. We'll just go left one room. One area. Uh, this house, we cannot enter it yet. Oh, that's fine, though. This is where we started the game. We can now see it with all the people going around and doing their business. Hmm. I don't think I want to go there. That's a shop. That's another shop. I might check this one, though. Hello, can I help you? Well, let's see. So these things, I wanted to talk about those. These are Atlas Shard, and what they do... They're like things you can put on your weapon to gain some special effects. I oh, look at this guy, look at this guy. That's the third time, damn! The scaffoldings are broken again! I'll catch you wherever you might be, I swear it. We didn't do anything, man. Don't, don't look at me. Okay, I believe there's a secret item here. Hang on. Yeah, there is an item here. And steel and there is a secret item, isn't there? Come on, there is a secret item. I knew there was a mitzvah there. There we go. See that? I remember stuff. Alright, I wanted to tell you what those things that we're getting are. So if you go under the gear, we can see here we are able to equip Lephis. That gives us some dexterity. Dexterity is the speed of your ATB, so I gladly take it. 
Unfortunately, Rudra cannot do, can you know, equip those, so as you can see, not available. We have a rush that could go on the offensive slot, but we can't really do anything with that. Basically, it works like this. Every weapon has either a, an offensive slot, a defensive slot, buff, or known. And you can equip those shards into it, which can grant you different effects. Anyway. I mean, at the beginning, it's just stat buffs, but later on, they become some really interesting effects that you can get. Um, I think I want to go this way first, just for a second. No, there is a chest, but it's locked. All right, what's well, this going to go into the castle then? Chapter 2. Masks of Death. Seth, I see you decided to come, this time at least. You still have doubts about that? Let's go see Master. He's in the throne room. Upstairs, straight ahead. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. Let's. We could explore the castle, but we'll be able to do that later, so... I don't see why we shouldn't follow orders for now. And over here, I think... Ron Levitzoa, founder of the Vanguards. I believe there was a hidden item here? Or maybe it's not now, maybe it's later on in the game. Lord Maester, I'm back. Seth, seeing you fills with me joy. Rise, my son, there's no need for these formalities. Who is this Varden? My name is Rudra, I escorted the sad and valiant across the hills. The hills? Hmm. And what takes you to Rael's castle, Mr. Rudra? I know you have an important mission for Seth, and I'm here to offer my service as his bodyguard. I doubt Seth needs any help. His mission is going to be one of diplomacy, not war. He runs no risks. I'm afraid that's no longer the case, Lord Maester. Is there something I need to be informed of? Precisely. I've heard that this mission is about the crystals. Even though we cannot be certain of this, there's a chance the crystals and the wild beasts we killed might be related. Three vanguards are dead, my lord. Me and Rudra were attacked too, and we noticed red crystals stuck in the wolf's back. Oh, holy Rian. History repeats itself. Repeats itself? Is he talking about the event the Valiant mentioned back in Rolly's Inn? What the hell happened to Seth two years ago? We're afraid this wolf isn't just one of its kind. There might have been more attacks in the thief. Rael is not safe at this moment. That's why I would like to travel along Seth and help him in this duty. I see. Though, Rudra, you are a foreigner still. How do I know I can trust you? He saved my life, Lord Maester. I would not be here if I had not been for him. I'd be dead with those soldiers. In that case, you have my permission. Rudra, you may go with Seth. Lord Maester, I would like to know more about this mission. But of course, come closer, Seth. I'll need to speak with you. Valiant, you may leave. I have more duties for you, so I will summon you on those important matters once this important matter is settled. At your orders. Seth, do you still remember where your gym used to be? Yeah, he's doing dormitories. Alright. Go there once you've done speaking with Lord Maester. I need to have a few words with you. Alright, see you later. I'll explore the castle in the meantime. In the meanwhile, your architecture is fascinating. Alright, see you later, Rudra. As you already know, the crystals we found two years ago have been sent to Mystia, to the recent laboratories. To the recent health labs, but are they still operative? This part of the recent health structures is still active. The Treaty of Elders struck a hard blow to the company that gave us Atlas technology. The recent family is still the richest in the Empire, however. Without their machines, we would not have had the means to anal analyze the crystals. Wait a second, isn't all of this illegal? Let's just say it's convenient. The rich family keeps paying steep fines to the Empire because of their employment of outlaw tads. Their vast reserves of Atlas are still put to use, despite what the treaty says. The more reason pays in fines, the more money the Empire makes. Rizana has been finan financing the people of Levito in a way. Has he obtained any results so far? Finding that out is precisely the aim of our mission. Dr. Rizan recently asked me to send him a high-ranking vanguard. One who can be trusted with a report about his latest findings. News of a sensational discovery like the one he promised us cannot be entrusted to regular mail. 
Rizan must be afraid this information might fall into the wrong hands. Some criminal organization, perhaps. Exactly. You're leaving for Port Ismail tomorrow. There you will meet Commander Verde Chris, the head of the Mar Maritime Division of the, Vanguard, of the Vanguard, the Marines. He will travel with you to Ethmi, the Mystia, and all the way to the Risen Laboratories. Understood. But why did you ask for me? No one else is better suited to the task at hand with the new set. Besides, this is a good chance to recover your reputation. The rest of the Vanguards will take notice you're back. Recover my reputation? Why would you? Take you back despite the charges of desertion and theft? Because I'm a starborn old man, after all. And I do not want to lose the boy I raised like a son among my personal guard because of a tragic event who has no real culprit. Two years have passed, Seth. You need to let your remorse go. Commiseration will not bring you any closer to the truth about that night. That I can assure you. What good would that do? I disappointed you. All of you. I don't deserve to be a high vanguard. That is true, I am disappointed. But you have not disappointed me. I did. I shouldn't have put all that responsibility on a young man of barely 20 years. Still, I would have preferred you to remain. You left your comrades behind, and your family too. And Martia. Martia. Where is she now? She left the vanguard shortly after you disappeared. You see, Seth, no man is, a, no man is an island. Our actions have consequences on others, even when we attempt to leave everything behind. I believe you're still in time to outface your past. Maybe helping others will allow you to turn page. Maybe you're right, Lord Maester. I'll do my best. Seth, I didn't know. Ruder's no longer a guest. The skills and weapons unlocked. So now we get to... We can learn skills with Rudra, basically. And also power up his weapons. Now, to power up weapons, you need materials, but it's something you can't really do right now. We won't even be able to show it, unfortunately. You can, you don't get to do that, do that until chapter 4, I think. Alright, well... Well, I'm going to save the game just in case. Here we go. So now... All we can do, really, is proceed with the story. Here I am, Valiant. You had something to tell me? Let's get in. I need to brief you to the, on the situation of the vanguards. Okay, we got the key. And we can now enter the room. I just wanted to let you know about something I gathered from my last talk with Meister. I'm listening. After you left the corpse, your team was disbanded. Martia left as well, and... Yes, Meister told me that. Where is she now? She went back to her father's place in her hometown, Benedicta. Benedicta? All the way to the Raikon Empire. But her father is Mistyos Magna Vanguard. That's the point. The head of Mistyos Vanguard, General Claude Chesterfield, recently retired. Now he's back home with his daughter. Are you telling me the Mistyos division was left without a leader? Of course not. Your mentor, Horus Kane, was transferred there. The Emperor will make a Magna Vanguard of him before the end of the year. I see where this is going, Valiant. Maesters wants me to take Horus' place. That way, I'll be a Magna Vanguard as well. Rails, of course. Maesters does not want to speak plainly on these matters, but that's it. I think you'll make it official once you're back from this mission. You'll be a Vanguard again, after all. I don't understand. Why me of everyone? Why does Maester want me back in the Vanguard? Seth, you know it as well as I do. There's no refusing an honor like that. You must accept. Why would he? Wh what would he say? What if I'm? No, that's out of the question. Come in, Commander Yolde. Lord Maester has asked to see you. Tell him I'm on my way. Yes, sir. Said I need to go. Think about our conversation. Make the right choice for once. I need to see Rudra. He might be in the library. Yeah, we really don't have anything else to do, unfortunately. So, yeah, um, let's put our hood up about that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. There. Anyway, the library is over here. 
I don't think there's anything hidden in these areas. There probably is. There's just stuff in the library to find. That's for sure. Oh, now there's gonna be some characters here. I know already what's gonna happen. I have to make some voices here. Hmm. Rudra. Hello, Seth. Welcome. I was just reading some bo old books concerning Rayod's recent history. I didn't know you could read common speak. Not all Vardas are wildlings, you know. Those of us who display some affinity with spirits are raised to become shamans. And a shaman needs to know both the legend of old and the ways of the world. So you're a shaman then? Where's your tribe? Gone, sadly. A rival clan divided us. Someday I'll tell you the whole story. Now look at this. Hmm. In the last few decades, Rael has been home to many unsettling events, the most remarkable of which is certainly the barbaric attack, a long siege carried on by nameless warriors, whose land of origin is still unknown. They brought with them a strange crystal. Barbarious, a crystal? Some pages are missing here. Seems like they were ripped out. I wonder who did it, and why. That much I can't say no for Zeridan. Damn, I, I read that so badly. <laughs> Damn it. Wow. Ah, the rumors were true then. Heard Seridan is back. You know these people? Oh no, I almost forgot about them. They're... We're the Magnificent Sabbath. That is correct. We are the Vanguard's Anti-Magic Division. Anti-Magic. But there's no such thing as magic in the world. Means we're good now. I don't think the Emperor refuses to give us a raise. And actually, saying magic doesn't exist is not completely accurate. Up until a few thousands of years ago, it really existed. But we all know in the year... Cut the crap, Macbeth. You speak too much. Hey, how dare you, you... Wait a second, Shylock. You said you know we ripped out the page from this book, didn't you? Of course! Our team is specialized in mysteries and eldritch secrets of all kinds. Macbeth, explain, please. Well, we for future to stumble upon the events as they were happening. Therefore, we can absolutely place beyond the pale of doubt that the dead entity of the altar of such a vile deed. His name is forever ours to keep, and a matter not to be solved otherwise, since the answer you seek is not to be found within the pages of the precious tome you hold. Precious. Listen to the sound of that. Precious. Ahem. Oh yes, sorry. We have not herefore inquired of the motivation of the hoodlum. But our investigation is afoot. That book holds a wealth of information concerning events which took place two decades ago. That is to say, 20 years. Or, if you prefer, you can call them a fifth of a century. Or four quinquenniums. The book is quite recent, as we gathered by the printing date, which happens to be printed on the back cover. Published in 2309. Well... Juliet, my dear sister, would you like to finish? It was Reyes, Magra, Vanguard, Horus, Kane. Horus? That's impossible. Why would he do something like that? As my brother explained, we have no idea. Our best guess, the incident that took place two years ago, has something to do with it. That could be it, after all. It looks like this book talks about crystals quite a lot. Well, Horus may know something, but I doubt he is the one behind all this. Then you're wrong, Mr. Zeridan. Where's Kane now? Where can we find him? It's no use, Rudra. I just spoke with Valiant. He told me Horus is a mystery right now. But perhaps he isn't. What do you mean? Information comes at the price, Herr Seridan. Yep, besides, you owe us money already from what we told you. Indeed, that amounts to 15,000 15, Zenith. We only accept cash, no checks or money orders. 15,000 Zenith? You must be joking. You should have thought about it before you asked for pricey secrets. You had no idea you asked for money, though. Come on, Shylock, tell us about Horus and let's end Travesty now. It's important, you know. No deal, boy. You don't want to pay? Do you know what we do to those who don't pay? You fight him in a boss fight, apparently. Alright. It shouldn't be too hard, though. I think I want to go for uh, Juliet first. And you missed. Nice start set. Really nice. Shotgun level 1. Font level 1. That does Fury. 
Yeah, that makes Rudra attack randomly with more power and a little bit less accuracy. That can be actually helpful. Because, well, that helps us take out these guys a little bit faster. Jewel is already down. We're just going to attack. Unfortunately, that doesn't charge the exceed, even though it's using the attack action. Since we're not selecting, it doesn't count as charging an exceed. Uh, I wanted to attack Shylock. That didn't work, though. Okay, Lacerate can inflict bleed, so we gotta be careful if that happens. Alright. We should be fine, though. Okay, Shylock's down. And I guess I'll, I'll I'll do first aid. I'll give me back some HP. There you go. Boop. And we'll just keep going. And Ruder's about to get off that rage effect. Okay. Or burst wreck, how you want to call it? Well, I won. There is no shame in admitting your defeat. Uh, ouch! You guys packed a mean punch. We're done playing, where is Horus? Actually, we do not know exactly. What Valiant told you isn't completely false. All we know is that Horus is now working under Emperor's Levizo himself, and that he's on a secret mission of sorts. Hot stuff. Horus is in the field incognito, and no one knows his whereabouts. He might be in Rail, in Mystia, maybe in another empire altogether. So there's no way to track him. Well, thanks for the info. I assume he was free, am I right? Of course, of course, free! How would they make a friend pay for a little tip? Now that's the Shadow I like. Alright, we have done we have some important stuff to do now. Folks, say goodbye to our Seridan and it's way too strong friend. Bro, sis, let's go. Bye bye, see you around. Horus, I wonder why he did it. We'll know soon enough. We should rest now. Yeah. The mission begins early tomorrow. Let's go to our rooms. Yeah, indeed, let's do that. Actually, let's, let's not. I want to pick up a few things here. Let's see. Apart from the treasure chest, with a following shard, I know there's some hidden stuff here. I don't know exactly where. There's Tear of Light. With that thing can be sold. I think over here. Where is it? Isn't there another hidden thing here? Aha, uh -huh, there it is still. And eco reports. The eco reports is actually pretty important. Be sure to pick it up if you are playing this 100% uh, mineral scale. All right. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else to do here. We just need to rest. So we need to go all the way back to our room. I, am I sure? Let's see. Am I sure there's nothing here? Are you sure about that? Hmm. Again, it's possible later in the game to check for hidden... Hidden... Aha! Hidden stuff. But it's not important if you miss them. They do not count towards 100% completion. The mission Maester gave you. What's it about? Simply put, we need to get to the recent laboratories. Rizana has an important update about this research on a new energy source he's been extracting from the red crystals. The first stop is Port Ismail. There, we'll meet Galian Verdegris, the commander of Ismail's Marine Division. He'll take us to Misty on a ship. Once in Admit, we'll go straight to the recent labs. That doesn't sound hard. And yet, why did Maester require your help specifically? I don't know, he hasn't mentioned his reasons. <laughs> What's so fun? I can tell you don't trust me yet. What? I'll be honest, Seth. I overheard you talk with Maester. Something important happened two years ago, am I right? And that something has to do with his new energy source. Oh well, don't worry, I won't force you to spill the beans. Listen, Rudra, you saved my life, I know that. Whatever you're doing, you mean well. Yet, you can blame me for not getting what your goal is? Why have you followed me all the way here? You know I could use some help, but to go as far as to offer me to be my bodyguard. You're right, I'm at fault not for making my motives clear. 
You have nothing to fear from me, though. I let my enemies know I'm coming, as a matter of honor. There's no place for lies on a shaman path. So I can tell you this much about myself. As you have lost your people you, cheer you cherish, so have I. If you ever want to talk about your losses, you can count on me. Let's rest now. We have a long journey ahead of us. It did we do, Rudra? It did we do. I can't sleep. Uh, I thought I'd sleep like a stone. Rudra? He's not here. He must have gone for a walk. Well, maybe I need to take a walk as well. Well, I was saying bef before, 100% um, stuff, you do get ranked at the end of the game for many things, and one of them is chests that you opened, and so only if you opened all of them, you get 100%, because you need a lot, there's a lot of rating, like missions, contracts that we haven't even seen yet, um, chests, um, and all the bunch of statistics, you need to get an S to everything if you want 100%. But hidden items are not under that category. Anyway, anything here? Just checking though, don't worry. I don't think there's anything anyway. Is there a way out here? Ah, there was a test I missed. Healing quartz, I knew there was something here. What the? Uh, we enter battle with these two guys here. They shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, we killed them in one and two hits. We're good. Machine gun does 76. Miss. Come on. One more hit, Sad. One more hit. There you go. And two healing quartz. Yeah, those guys are often drop healing quartz. What's going on here? Assassins? We're all in danger then. I need to find Rudra and warn Lord, warn Lord Maester before it's too late. Okay, we can't go through there, so we need to go over here. Rudra! Set! Okay, Rudra joins back for this battle. So we can take them down a little bit more efficiently. If we don't miss. What? <laughs> Alright, come on. There you go. And one down. Alright, let's attack this guy. See if we can bring him down. Then we, we can probably both defend and get back some HP. Alright, one more attack, guys. Come on. There you go. Who are these men? I've got no idea. We need to protect Lord Maester. Let's go. And I want to tell you a little bit about... Well, actually, no. Let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. I wanted to tell you about the domain abilities. A little bit more in detail, but... Nah. I will do that later when we get into the next dungeon. This is serious. We can't really go that way, apparently. So I need to go all the way around. Yeah, another battle like the one before. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Come on. There we go. That's how you do it. There we go, see that? That's how you play the yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Where's Lord Maester? Lord Maester is safe, my team is taking care of him. Commander Yol and the Sheridan, sir. What's going on? Raiders under attack, those assassins are everywhere. But I'll go with Rudra. Stay here and protect Lord Maester. 
Of course, be careful out there. Okay. We must stop them before they kill innocent people. We are bumped down here in uh, rail, and all we gotta do is to move right and defeat a bunch of those assassins. There isn't much to do other than that. So yeah, we're just gonna spam attack here. There's really isn't really anything else to do of interesting. Just need to take down these guys. All right then. Um, guard. So Rudra will attack. There. Set the attacks. Rudra. Rudra will guard. And Seth will guard as well. And now we're attacking. There you go. Uh, they keep coming. Look, Seth, there's something there. Oh no! That sign! Scarlet Worms. What the hell they they want with us? Scarlet Worms, you say? They're a criminal organization based in Mystia. They deal in smuggling, blackmailing, counterfeiting, and contract killings. I think we can guess what they came for. We need to go back to the castle. Master might be in danger. <laughs> huh? Lord Master? <laughs> he is not the one who should fear us. What do you mean? Stop! Move when you're dead! Alpha team, our target is downtown. Leave the castle at once. I repeat, our target is downtown. Leave the castle, over and out. What the? Finally, two long years. You're back, you scum. We failed today, but the revenge goes on. You'll never rest easy. I'm... I'm their target? Calm down, Seth. If these worms think I'm letting you die, they are in for a rude awakening. Let's find a safe spot. No, Rudra. I know it's dangerous, but I have to find out why they want me dead. I'll go ahead. You go back to the castle. You're risking your life if you stay with me. Boy, if you go ahead on your own, you're as good as dead. I'm coming with you. End of discussion. Let's go then. Indeed, let's go then. Oh, there's a guy here. Uh, I'm Art, but it's only a flesh wound. Here, you need this more than I do. Thanks for the ethereal quartz. Wow, and arcane shards. Holy cow, I didn't know this guy was here giving me those things. And those things are pretty powerful. I'll end this. Or will do. Alright. We meet again, you scum. This will be the last time, though. Alright. Let's fight this guy. Again, we don't have that much of a strategy here. Poison Stab, and we are in Blade. It's just nice. Uh, let's go and guard. Let's attack as long as we can. Brutal Scratch. Well, Rudra is taking a lot of damage. Set isn't, so that means I can keep attacking with him. Well, Rudra will just attack guard. Brutal scratch on Rudra. Uh. Alright then. Mm, attack Rudra. Set as well. Rudra will guard now. Summon spirit. Uh, 101, that's a lot. Guard Rudra. There you go. Come on, we can do it. We can charge and exceed and finish this guy. Nah, no, don't do that again. Ugh. Alright. Set is almost up to an exceed. Uh, uh, I'll guard. Hey, set, go the is exceed ready. Uh, thank god I was defending there. And it's time to Crimson Bolt. I 
I love these animations. They are so well made. Look at this. Bam! I love it. That just shows how much you can deal with RPG Maker 2003. It looks like you need to train some more. You won't be so lucky next time. I'll see you soon. They wanted to kill me. I imagine one makes a few enemies when he works for the Empire. That's true, but I don't think I've stepped on anyone toes so hard that they might want me dead. Sure, I did send a few guys to jail, but none of them had connection to the Scarlet Worms, not that I know of. Well, they were looking for what what they were looking for is for revenge. Are you sure they don't know what they were referring to? No, I have no idea. Those two musket assassins were wardens, I'm sure of it. Well, one of them was at least. Tail and fangs give you people away. True, but they were both wearing a Varden skull as a mask. It is in our culture to wear the skull of a loved one when you are out for revenge. It is an invocation of the spirit's wrath for being murdered. I... I really don't remember. Look, I hadn't noticed earlier, but even though it's cloudy, we can still see Aritale's two moons. Indeed, right before those assassins attacked us, I came here to pray. To pray? We wards and spray before the moons. The spirits we worship come from the sky, and they are on the only source of magic left on Ariatale. Spirits are important to us, especially to shamans such as myself. I didn't know about this. Well, better get some sleep. See you tomorrow, Rudra. Alright, I'll stay here for a bit longer. Sure. Spirits, give me strength. It's time to go. Let's head to Ismail, to the south. We'll take the western bridge. Ismail's not too far that way. Yeah, indeed, we can do that. There is a side quest, although. It's a very quick side quest. We might as well do it. It will grant us two... Two items and the Gaia Shard. <laughs> we won't even, even be able to use that Gaia Shard. I don't know why I'm doing it, but... I guess just for completion and just to add a little bit of content to the video, I'm gonna do that. I don't see why not. I think we're going to finish in a quarter of an hour, so we're gonna hit two hour mark and then we'll that's it. Anyway, if you talk to Sherlock here. Ha ah, look who's there, her Sheridan. Still here, Sherlock? Hey listen, do me a solid, will you? I'm not giving you any money, no pounds of flesh. What did you take me for? I'm not miser. Listen, I'm busy. My brothers aren't here yet. I have to talk with them about things. I'm sure they are around doing nothing at all. Would you please go and call them for me? Sure. Thanks, Seth. We have to find Julia and Macbeth. And I exactly know where they are. One of them is over here. That's Juliet. I can't believe those green pearls are made of Atlas. The people are starving all around Ariatale, and here in the castle we waste precious sources of energy to decorate a statue. Good day to you as well, Juliet. Sorry, Seth, this just... this makes me so angry. How can our rulers be so wasteful? Calm down, I was looking for you. Your brothers need you. Yeah, yeah, I know it's in the library. I can't just leave this stuff here. Juliet, what are you doing? Grr. Uh, done, finally. Seth, your weapon uses Atlas, Atlas Shard technology, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the High Vanguard Standard Ordinance. Alright, then, here you are. You need this more than our stone guest ever will. Don't you think that? Just take it. Get a Colonia. I'll see you back. I'll see you. I'll go see my brother now. Bye, Seth. I'll see you around. Okay. That's another Atlas shot. Actually, I'll switch that. Because that gives defense. And God Lord, if you need defense in this game. Seriously. 
In the first like 70% of the game, defense is what you really need to worry the most about. Then you can start sacrificing some defense for more interesting abilities. But the beginning is just defense, 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 defense. Alright. Even though it's not defense, it's called resistance in this game, so I don't know why I'm calling it defense. Oh well, here's Macbeth. Hey Seth, what's up? Macbeth, your brother is waiting for you in the library. Yeah, I figured as much. Look at those cadets, how they run. Well, it's not like girls in bikinis wouldn't make for a better you, but watching these guys struggle will have to do. Besides, look how fast they are, even in full armor. It's almost like they're wearing nothing at all. And the coordination of movements, the perfect cadence, the rhythmic shift of the joints. Every drop of sweat is a sacrifice to ambition, the will of becoming the greatest vanguard of present and past. Just like General Chesterfield of Horus, or like you. What a wonderful world. It's a living being, every breath we draw, every single movement, everything has its own story and reason. Am I boring you? Dude, you always speak that much? Am I the one who talks too much, or does everyone else talk too little? That's debatable, isn't it? I'll tell you again, your brother is looking for you, and you should go to the library as soon as possible. Mm, Alright. Sorry for bothering you. As a way to prove the sincerity of my apologies, have a present. We got running shoes. Thanks, Macbeth, I guess. No problem. I know we caused you some trouble in the past. Better get going, wouldn't want to keep my bizarre brother waiting. Alright, that's the mission be that's the mission basically. We haven't done it yet because we need to report back to Shylock. So we're gonna do that very quickly. And he's gonna dump us a Gaia Fragment. He's not even needed. Actually, the game will tell us while leaving that we haven't done it, so... Yeah. Yeah, blah blah blah, you forget about it. There you go, thank you so much. And that completes the mission. It should be completed, right? Yeah, it is. Alright, I was talking about contracts before. It's called hunts in English, okay. Well, it's time for us to leave the castle and head to the port of Ismail. So we're gonna go down here to the south and leave. So Ismail is to the southern tip of this island, although the only new available place is this bridge over here. We're gonna check that out, but before we do that, we're gonna go to Ox House. No, no, I don't want to save. Well, I guess I, I'll, I'll save anyway. Okay, we're at Ox, and we definitely have opened more than 10 treasure chests now, right? We opened 15. And you give us... Some materials. What's our next goal, Lock? 30. We open 16. Oh well. Alright, let's go to the new uh, newly appeared dot here. And this is the bridge. Oh no, what's going on? Stop, I'm sorry, but the road is closed. Ah, oh, Commander Sheridan, it's you. What? I must cross the bridge. Why is there a roadblock? There was a serious accident ahead of here. My orders are to stop all traffic on the bridge. I'm sorry, but it was a direct order, so I have to enforce it. No one gets through. These guys have been waiting here for hours. To think that. Why do people keep using those damned cars? Why not stay home like everyone else? Cars have been banned by the treaty, and the few models that were allowed to are allowed are a mess, design-wise. I swear, this bridge is more often closed than it's open, because of all those crashes. How do you cross the bay, then? Don't ask me, pal. I'm just doing my job. I guess you could try the east side. We have no time for a detour like that. Seth, I think I know of an alternative plan path. Really? We could go through the forest. That doesn't sound like a good idea. We need to get to Ismail as soon as possible. Going back all the way to the east side is not an option. You said it yourself. Hey, who knows when this road will be accessible again? Trust me, I know the wilds around here. It's not a safe journey, but I think about, about what happened last night. Hmm. I don't think they'll be looking for me in the forest, after all. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. The forest is west of here, right? We better hurry. A sorry indeed. Back to the world map. 
We're going into the forest up here. Wait a second. Wait a second, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm gone. It was a weird text there. Rail Forest Nord, here be wild beasts enter. That was all that was great. Nice touch there. Here be wild beasts. Alright. So it's another mini dun kind of dun. There's not really a dungeon, I don't really know, but you know. I guess we can call it a mini dungeon. But it's pretty straightforward. There's not like any pass split or whatnot. They're just easy enemies to deal with. I wanted to talk about the domain skills a little bit more. You lost because you didn't focus. And how they work. Basically, you can go over here in the domain and to and you can learn them. You can see them all, but you won't be able to know what they do. Oh, uh, of course, if you know what they do. <laughs> but in in the game, you cannot know where they do unless you you find the the item that allows you to learn them. And even when you find it, you need to spend AP to learn it. I've learned the bear's entrance, and when you learn it, you can set up to one level of the bar or the bar, the gods. Um, I set it to level 1 because it's very hard anyway to get a level 1 with 2 characters. Usually you would set it to level 2 because it gives more bonuses. You can set it to level 3 as well. But setting it to level 3, it's... I don't really use, do that because staying on level 3... I mean, reaching level 3 is not hard. But staying on level 3, which is the max level over there, it's very hard because... <coughs> even the slightest action that is not offensive action, meaning attack or ability, will drop down the gods down to level 2. So you will lose your buff. Usually level 2 is the best. Because the idea is that you can get there pretty fast, and the bonus is quite good. And if you just raise it to the maximum, you're not gonna lose it. We got a no, offensive, uh, actually, we are the uh, defensive shard, guard of the shard. Atrophy, flay, depressed, slow resistance, 100%. I don't think I need that. I like my defense. Also, the game talked about alt altered, altered domain. I don't know, it's cold here. Let's see, angle. Option guide, domain, it's called over domain. The over domain is a pretty important mechanic in the game. It gives you more reward after a battle. And those rewards depends on the characters that are participating in the fight. As you can see, every character has a icon on the bottom left corner of the portrait. That icon defines the over domain. The more the bar is filled, the bar, the gods, the more the domain gods is filled, the better bonus you can get. Seth gives more experience, Ruler gives HP. HP is a pretty important one. Because that means you can heal a little bit after the battle. Which is very helpful since at the beginning of the game, well, the healing opportunities are very little. You don't get very much, many healing touches. Uh, you really have limited options for healing, apart from the defend command. Actually, thinking, talking about that, let's go under Manage Party, I want you upgrade. I have some APs. Let's go under Rudra's page here. He's got Life Schism, which is a healing ability, it sacrifices HP to heal the party. That can be useful, not gonna lie. And Horizon. Horizon, I think. Uh, Horizon? I don't know. It's not Horizon, because it doesn't have an H at the beginning, so it's Horizon? I don't know. Boost resistance and domain recharge. Now, I actually never used it. I don't think you should use it, but yeah, then again, you do what you want. I'm just gonna he uh, learn this just because I want to. Seth, I'm gonna learn Lesser Aids, which is a, good, a lot of damage, but misses often. And Survival, which deals damage to specific enemy types. You can actually see uh, the de details of all level, all the levels of the taxes. Um, if, you, you, if you use Shift, there we go. So you can actually see what all the levels do first aid is what i really uh, recommend on seth that's his really useful one the others and are meh 
Oh, we got our first example of a medium uh, uh, fog. Well, let's try to fight it. I'm sorry, but I need you to now, this one should be easy. And the reason why it should be easy is because Ruder's weapon actually deals more damage against this type of enemy. So that should be pretty easy to dispatch. In fact, we already did it. You should be more careful next time. Nice. We have another enemy here, and we have a save point. Wow. Wow, I was trying so hard to get to that fog. Let's do this. I won't okay, these two boards again, they're not really that big of a deal. There's one down already. We may want to defend a little bit. Let's to get back some of our HP. There you go, and there you go. What? Over already? Oh, there's a save point? Hmm, fight you first. It looks like you do not know the way. Come on, let's see me. Let's see a crit, Rudra. Come on. I wanted to see a crit by Rudra, that would have killed it. I know you can't one-shot it with a crit. There it is! I knew it, I called it. Even the Boom. Let's save the game. Alright. Closing in on the two hours mark. Might barely be able to finish chapter two. We are pretty close to chapter 2. We're just missing two bosses and they're one after another. One is in this forest and one we gotta fight when we get to Ismail. They're pretty close. We... I really want to fight these two bosses. And then end things off. So, let's see. Yeah, okay. He's still hunting us. I don't like to interfere with nature, but we'll have to make an exception. We need to put that bird down. Can't we avoid it? It's too dangerous and we don't exactly have time to. I know, boy, but we have no choice. It's a bird of prey and those are persistent hunters. It's going to keep looking for us so it can kill us and take us to its nest. I bet some eggs are about to hatch. Get ready, here it comes. So, this is a little bit more serious boss fight. I guard first with Seth so I can get back some HP. Rudra will start attacking immediately. It needs to charge up that exceed. Brutal scratch on Seth. Thank God that was defending. Alright, let's attack a little bit. Here. There. Nice. Okay, that's good, that's good. Seth will attack. Rudra, I guess we'll keep, we'll keep attacking. Oh no, maybe I'll guard. Yeah, he got the double defense buff. Nice. Seth will keep attacking, he's good. Okay, 104 to Rudra, and he was in double defense. Wow. All right. Brutal scratch on set. Okay, it's fine. It's fine though. Set, you can use first aid. See how much you recover. Not bad. It's okay for now. Guess the wind. Ah, oh, that's party damage. Okay, I'll guard then. I'll guard with both characters. Set has to attack, unfortunately, and Rudra as well. Okay, we're not doing bad, though. Uh, Set, are you ready for another first aid? You really need it. Okay, Rudra's almost up to an exceed. Another gust of wind, unfortunately. You guard. Rudra, you go and exceed. And we should be able to finish it once Rudra gets a turn. Yeah, pretty much. I think this kill this will kill it. I mean, Rudra's exceed is like over the top. It's one of the most powerful exceeds in the game. Little bit of luck there, but we won. Red Atlas obtained. Set level up. Another animal tainted by the influence of the crystals. 
The energy is making Wild Beast aggressive and strong. Yeah, that's the only explanation. Ah! Seth, are you alright? Yeah, just another headache. You should see a doctor. I said I'm fine. Come on, we're never getting to Ismail at this pace. Yes, that's right, we hit the two hours mark, but... We're just gonna keep going, Ismail is just around the corner, we might as well avoid some fights here. There you go. I think I missed the treasure chest though. Oh well. Like, Ismail is right here. We can fight another battle, see a new character, maybe a couple, and then we can leave. I mean, we can leave, we can... Yeah, we can end the... We can end the video. I guess I'll just go straight for where I need to go. And I'll pick up some secret items as well, why not? A radiant scale, more materials. I do remember some of the secret items locations, because I did actually found all, find all of them. Bronze tier, I believe there's another one here. No, maybe not. Maybe not, okay. Okay, then. So what we need to do... Well, we're going to save first, just in case. And let's just do what we need to do. Oh, we can't go there yet? Oh, it's right. It's closed, but someone inside is talking. It's right. It's not here that we need to go. It's on the other side of the pier. I wonder where Commander Verde Gris might be. The Marines. They don't have headquarters here in Ismail? Not really. As a division of Imperial Vanguards, their headquarters are in Rail, at the castle, with everyone else's. Though Commander Verde Gris wasn't in the castle, so we got sent here. He wouldn't have been our guide had been there. I see. Well, we should ask a Marine about his chief whereabouts then. Oh, holy Rian. What is it, Seth? That girl. What about her? All I see is a young Axel poking a fish with a stick. Questionable entertainment, but entertainment nonetheless. Come on, let her be. Axels are odd. Yeah, I know, but that girl, she's wearing a High Marine uniform. Uh, High Marine? Uh, Alright, none of our business. Let's ask her where, where the Gris is. Excuse me, miss. Huh? You're a Marine, right? Y you? I mean, sir? Mr. Chief? Is something wrong? You're South Sheridan. Uh, yeah. You're staring. I'm sorry, Sheridan, sir. I thought you died or were imprisoned or something worse, like eaten by a shark. Eaten by a whale. What? Wow, the legendary Seth Sheridan. The youngest cat that can't shut up about you, sir. Why did you leave? Was it a secret mission? A publicity stunt? Uh, I, I'm not here to talk about that. And what you're doing here in Ismail? I'm on a mission for Lord Maester. Then you must be back in the vanguards. That's great news. We're looking for Galleon Verde Gris. We need to speak with... Ah, you're looking for Dad? I can take you to him. Dad, you say? Are you the commander's daughter? Yep, I'll listen Verde Gris at your service. Uh, so your friend is a bard and sad? His name is Rudra. Pleased to meet you, Alison. My father says bars and stink. <laughs> I beg your pardon? <laughs> hey, that is a silly billy. I like Vardens. They're so fluffy and cute. Nice meeting you, Rudra. So I know where my father should be. Let's go. He certainly attacks Tavern. It's nearby. You gotta do your best by doing that to, to Rudra. That was rude. Oh, that was Rudra. All right, that's 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 stupid. That's stupid. That's a stupid pun. Can we see Allison actually? Let's see her status. I wanna see her portrait? Hey, nice portrait though. I like it. All right. Let's enter the tavern then. I love the scene here. Look at this. Hey everyone. Hi Dad. These two handsome fellas. We're looking for you. Duh. Who the hell are you guys? Give me a fur coat and call me a Varzan. That's Sher Sheridan. Weren't you dead, lad? I suppose I'm not, Commander Verdigris. I've been out of the vanguards for two years and they wanted me back. 
What about the wolf? How do you deal with the smell? Beg your pardon? Just messing with you, pal. I love your kind. I could use one at home. Bring me the newspaper and stuff, you know. What do you think, daughter? Really? Can I have a pet? You better steal your tongue, Axel. My name is Rudra and I'm Seth's bodyguard. I'm so sorry, Mr. Rudra. I was just breaking the ice. Enough with the pleasantries. What do you two want from me? You haven't been told? We're on a mission for Lord Maester. You're supposed to come with us to Edsmith, to the Reason Laboratories. Dr. Reason requires the presence of an high vanguard to report his findings about a new energy source. They say he found an alternative to Atas technology. We're also going to need a ship to cross the canal. So we're live to see the end of the Treaty of Alderus. We'll leave to see the end of Alderus. Damn it. That was, that was totally wrong. Okay. We'll leave to see the Treaty of Alderus. The end of the treaty. Hmm, I haven't seen the old drooling Reason bastard in a while. You know Dr. Grisan, Dad? I do. Me and Christopher go way back, back in my days. Well, you probably don't need to hear that. Too bad it's late to sail. We can't leave a sundown, so I'll get a ship ready for tomorrow. Commander with the Gris, it's 2 p.m. Oh, well, it's the storms are brewing and there's no sailing with the storm now. Why don't you guys grab a seat and have a beer? Oh yes, let's have something. No, Alison, not you. Don't you remember what happened last time? Uh, alright. Come on, Mr. Rudra, be a good sport. I'm afraid I don't drink alcohol, Commander Verdegris. If I drink this damn beer, will we sail now? Ugh, calm down, boy. I actually got a better idea. Seth, I challenge you to a drinking contest. If you win, we'll set sail now. If I win, I get bragging rights. That's ridiculous. You can actually choose not to do it, but <laughs> let's do it just for the funds. Now that's man talk. Show me what you got. If you want to be Galleon in this drinking game, you'll have to try your physical resistance. Its pint of beer needs to be down quickly and that consumes your resistance bar. Between one pint and the next, there's a break. So you can breathe and recover by pressing the Z key repeatedly. These breaks will get shorter and shorter as the game progresses. So recovering your resistance gets more difficult over time. The first player to get to zero resistance loses the game. I'll last your opponent. It's kind of like Metal Gear Solid's mini game of mashing buttons. It doesn't really change that much. Actually, I've done it once. It's pretty hard, but it's possible to win. And it's like you have to mash really fast. Ah! That wasn't good. Basically, you lose if you when your resistance drops here. If you get to the bottom, ah, I'm not gonna make it. Maybe I can cheese it. No, I died. Ah, you can win it. It's very hard. You don't get anything if you win. You do get, I mean, you do get experience, but you don't get anything rare from this. And then he left. What a sore loser. That was so grand. I decided to become the best marine in the world. Well, after this deep retrospective of my past, I'd like to congratulate my good boy set, who was not afraid to challenge a drinking master, even though everyone here knew it lose. Ha ha ha, better luck, better luck next time, loser. That's enough. It's time to go. All right, then. Well, a promise is a promise. Come on. Ugh. Sad. What's going on? Another headache? Don't worry, I'm fine. What was that? Oh no, was it? I'm sorry guys, I don't think I can walk straight. Hey, where do you think you're going? Wait for me! Ew, what's that? Another monster. Said we need to stop it before it kills someone. If you're gonna stand in my it's an aquatic creature. It's probably weak to air thunder element. We must use the correct strategy and victory will be ours. Okay, we have Allison in our team now. She has some kind of maid support character. Uh, she's able to use a dead, a, 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 a magical Marjet 
which deals ice damage. Unfortunately, this guy is resistant to it, I think. Going to hit it with set Van Lightning to do some damage. Although, she's not really good at physically attacking, so this has to do. This has to do. Blue Stream's lower stagger resistance to steal damage to... to Van Lightning, so I guess I'd do that. It missed! Nice! So, we shouldn't really rely on it. I mean, we can try to use Van Lightning, just so you can see it. See how much damage that does. 4-3-3, not bad. Wow, we missed. Slam on set. Alright then. All is on, about to cheer up. I can grant meditate to the party, which is good because we recover SP. Nice, nice, nice. Come on. Alright, we got this. We got this. Slam on set again. You gotta be kidding me. No, oh, cheer up! Ah, I didn't mean to cheer up. I will. At least she gets uh, the, uh, the the status as well. Uh, do my lightning again. Actually, I think survival would work on this thing as a uh, maybe. I don't know. You do more that spam this. All his own charges succeed by using abilities. So that can be useful. Uh, set will go. I guess he'll attack. Yeah. He does 200 attacking. So I guess my lightning really is effective. Alison keeps spamming Marzet. She might be able to get an exceed going. Which would be nice. Um, yeah, do first aid. No, no, don't do first aid. Yeah, do him on lightning. Yeah, 500, not bad. Keep attacking Rudra. And a slam on Alison. Alright, Marzet. He need, she needs two more Marjet for an exceed. You can go. You can defend actually. Boy, that our domain is pretty high. Okay, go Marjet. Not bad. Ultra sound. What does that do? Oh wait, what, what, what status problem is that? Oh no, it's silence. Hang on. Do we have something for that? Fury and shiftless. Bleed blur seal. Is this what? Is this seal? No, it's not. Is that shiftless? Probably no. What is that status problem? Dang it! Fury and shiftless bleed blur seal. Let's try this. I don't know if it's this. Yeah, it is. It is. Okay, good. More jet. All right. And now we can see uh, Alison exceed and Bobby Rick. Let's do it. That didn't kill it. Wow. And Sad is not doing good. Ah, why did I attack with Elton? All right, whatever. Come on, Rudra. Uh, not on Sad, please. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. You guys can both defend, I guess. Now, this guy is tough. Okay. Alison is very low on HP here. We need to do something about that. Yeah, you have a healing quartz. Do it. There. Okay, go on lightning. Actually, no, go first aid. Let's play a little bit defensively here. Ruder's almost up to an exceed. Ouch. And if he gets to do an exceed, we can actually win. Come on. Okay, you keep guarding, guys. I just play it safe and use Ruder's exceed to end the battle. There you go. Hey, I won. Nice. Great warrior. Even the spirits saw your bravery. Uh, it's still moving. Gross. The crystals are overcharging it. We can't do anything. 
fuck out of my sight, you filthy creature! You will have no chance to strike. And we got to play as Auras. Um, so charge, I guess. That doubles his strength and dexterity, which means he's gonna move as fast, even faster. Look at that. Look at that ATB speed. Look at that. Boom. Nice. And he, he hasn't killed it yet? Wow. There he goes. Victory for us. How beautiful. That wasn't even amusing. A tough one, huh? Looks like we made it. Master Horus. Set. It's been two long years. What's going on? Is, is this how you greet an old friend? Master Horus! Still with that master thing? Don't tell me you don't remember the last time we saw each other. <laughs> I know! I I'm so sorry! you always be a teacher to me! General Kane! Great seeing you! It's been a while! I'd like to spend more time here in Rail, but ever since Ch Chesterfield retired, most of his duties have fallen on me. There's no discussing orders from Emperor Levizo himself. I see, and what about that old creature? What about that? You barely moved a finger to protect your city! Hell is on my dear, you're right, but you see, I'm an old man. I'm much older than General Chesterfield, and he's retired, no? Dad, you're an exile, we don't age as fast as humans! Alright, alright, my apologies for not doing my part. Thank you for saving Ismail. You risked your life to protect, to protect the citizens. I'm forever in debt. As vanguards, it's our duty to keep the peace and the empire. No need to thank us. I do have a question, though. You, Varden, who are you? I don't know you, but you have my gratitude for fighting at our side. My name is Rudra. I volunteered to protect Seth during this mission. A mission? Is that from Maester? Then you're a vanguard again, Seth. Thank you, Rudra. Seth needed someone to look after him. As hot-headed as he is. <laughs> hey, what's that supposed to mean? I'm just joking. No offense, man. I'm sorry to interrupt, but no one has replied to my question yet. What was that beast out there? We met other creatures like that before, Commander Verdegris. When I first met Seth, we were both attacked by a huge wolf who had been contaminated by the same red crystals. Yeah, and on the way to Ismail, we found a huge bird of prey who tried to kill us. Same pattern. Wow, I had no idea your journey has been so dangerous. These creatures have three things in common. They're hungry, they're huge, and they seem to be under the influence of those crystals. They're probably the same as two years ago on that night. I see. The crystals we found two years ago are what Rezan has been studying all this time, in his lab in Mystia. That's where I'm headed. The Emperor sent me there to hear about his findings. What? But Lord Maester gave me exactly the same mission. It appears the Vassal wants that info as well. Well, I won't question his motives. All the Emperor is above Maester. I don't know why they gave the two of us the same mission, but there's no reason to suspect Maester is acting against the Empire. It's just... It's odd the two of them haven't spoken to each other about this. Hmm, maybe they seek the same things, but for different goals? Well, Maester is going to have to justify his action to his majesty. For now, we do as we told. Well, have a great trip then. I'll see you all when you're back. But, Commander of the Gris, you were supposed to come with us. I know, I know, but didn't you see that huge monster earlier? What if another one of those beasts decides to attack the arbor? I have to stay here and protect the city. And you're going to do that from Chuck's while while you chuck down beer? Well, that's a good start, don't you agree? Allison. Yes, Dad? You're going with Seth, Ruder, and Kane to the Rizan Labs. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, I mean, yes, sir. Allison is coming now? She has my trust. Hi, Marine Verdegris, don't disappoint me. I will do an A great job, sir. Well, since we're all headed in the same place, should we go together? That'd be great, Horus. Alright, meet me at the docks when you guys are ready. See you later. Is he in our team? No, he's not. Okay. He will be, though. Anyway, I think this is a good stopping point. Actually, it, it, it is the stopping point, no matter what, because this is as far as I've been told to go. We can't really go further than this. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. This were, these were the first two hours and 20 minutes of Thea the Crimson Eclipse. 
I really hope this gets translated to full as fast as possible. Expect a full let's play in the future and see you guys in the next video.